up? It's Jan back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Today we're doing a 24 hour readathon slash participating in the queer blackathon. So, Hannah from Hannah's Recent Reads asked me and Christina from Christina's Chapters to do a 24 hour readathon with her today. I just got back from Indiana yesterday for a wedding and I was gonna vlog last night, but I was like, not feeling it, sorry. I was so tired after being on the road for six and a half hours or whatever, but I just like edited a video, got my May wrap up up. I technically started this 24 hours at 10 a.m. It is now 12. I have to go to my parents' house for Father's Day just for like lunch and stuff and since it's my parents' I'm gonna bring books for sure. I'm gonna be reading Sorrowland by River Solomon for the Queer Blackathon because this is the group book for it. Queer Blackathon is hosted by Jesse from Bowties and Books, my lovely friend, and Starla from Starla Reads. And it's technically a 48 hour readathon, but they said that there are like many ways to participate, and one way is to just read the group book. So I'm hoping to finish this today. I'm already 100 pages in. I'm loving the font. The font is really what's getting me through the longer chapters and the story itself it has very good social commentary it's there's a lot of graphic moments it's kind of strange but it's like really captivating so i'm gonna be working on this today i also have a year without a name by cyrus grace dunham this is jesse's nb book club pick for june and it's super short so possibility and then i also have my book club pick for june which is arsenic and adobo and i am 162 pages in <laughs> I have thoughts, but yeah. So if time allows, those are my three books I'll be working on. But I also have this graphic novel that I just randomly picked up from the library. It's Laura Dean. It keeps breaking up with me and I've seen this all over Bookstagram. And I mean, it's a graphic novel, so it's gonna be really, okay, where's the light, hello? It's gonna be really quick if I just need a break from prose. From regular novels whatever i'm gonna start this vlog now and this vlog later tonight because tomorrow i'm gonna start my strange -a thon vlog and that is a week-long readathon so that's the plan i gotta go take out my trash and stuff and i'll update when i have updates happy father's day thank you am i pretty yeah, happy father's Hi. day we miss you my my fans i'm here i'm back oh my god we hi hi cutie yeah. Hey, so change of plans. Um, I'm going live with Jesse, my bestie, the legend. We're gonna go live in literally 30 minutes on their channel for some queer blackathon read a queer blackathon reading sprints. I'm gonna look like a hot mess in front of like a billion people, but it's fine. Still reading Sorrowland. Filmed a video. I left my parents house at around, I don't know, like 2.30. And then yeah, Xavier left. I filmed a, uh, what did I film? A video about all the series I wanna read before the end of the year. And then I read a little bit. I'm on page 120 now, part two. I'm still liking it. I feel like it's going pretty fast. A lot faster than I expected for sure. I don't know what I was expecting. I didn't really go in with many expectations other than Jesse loves it and yeah. <laughs> so I went to the grocery store as soon as I helped them figure out StreamYard. <laughs> Not to expose them or anything, but yeah, I went to the grocery store and got me a big ass bottle of wine for these sprints. I don't know how long we're gonna go for, but yeah, that's happening. I'm so stoked. It was very spontaneous. I'm excited. Let's hope we get a lot of reading done. And on the off chance that I do finish this tonight, maybe I'll extend this vlog to like half of tomorrow, maybe do a little 36 hour situation. I I don't know but i'm gonna move on to a year without a name the author's not black but they are queer and it is for jesse's book club and they're hosting queer black thon so there we go sorrowland is my main focus i am going to catch you guys when we're sprinting <laughs> See her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world, they wanna be Hi, I don't know if you can hear this, but it is storming outside Like thunder, rain, lightning, everything I'm kind of scared. 
It sounds like there's like water rushing right outside my door and I'm on the third floor. Like what? But I'm still sprinting with Jesse. It is almost 11 p.m. I have yet to get to page 200 of Sorrowland. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it tonight. Probably not. There's like 355 pages of it, so <laughs> FMO. But I've had a, quite a bit of wine. Not tipsy or drunk or anything but that's only because i had some chips okay it literally sounds so scary outside i don't know if you can see this let's see oh there's some lightning oh yeah yeah we're gonna close this and not freak ourselves out and i'm home alone so i'm hoping jesse stays on with me after we end these sprints, I don't know how long we're gonna go for, but I'm gonna keep reading now and I'm getting kind of hungry, so maybe I'll make food soon. Hello. So it's 1 a.m. now. Jesse and I just watched the last two episodes of season one of Younger. It's such a good show. I ended the night on page 195 of Sorrowland. I don't know. Should I keep reading a little bit? I don't know. I'm gonna brush my teeth and see if I'm in the mood to at least get to page 200, you know, or the next chapter or whatever. I did just eat some ramen. So I have like a little bit of energy, but I'm also pretty tired. I'm definitely extending this vlog to tomorrow i'll probably extend it to until whenever i finish this book because i'll definitely finish it tomorrow but yeah tomorrow i have to call my friend casey because she called me during our sprints and i couldn't talk for too long i have to sprint with hannah because we both don't work tomorrow i couldn't sprint with her tonight because i was on jesse's sprints so they said they're gonna start doing weekly sprints so i'm super excited for that because i know they've been wanting to do sprints for a while on their channel and then then we're gonna try to watch more episodes of Younger tomorrow night at some point. Maybe I'll definitely read five pages, get to page 200, and we'll see if I get caught up or if I get really freaking tired. But I'll update y'all in the morning unless something crazy happens. Good night! Good morning. It's like 8.30. I woke up at like 7.40 with some exciting news, but I can't talk about it until a little bit later in life. But so many things are happening in July. I can't wait. It's gonna be the best birthday month ever and it's gonna be all because of booktube so i fell asleep last night i'm still on page 195 i'm probably gonna sprint with hannah for a little bit this morning i'm trying to think if i'm, if I'm hungry or not today is also the start of strange at thon which is hosted by a couple of my friends and i'm definitely participating but i'm not gonna start that vlog until i finish sorrow land so let's freaking do it shall we <laughs> washed my hair for the first time since I got it refreshed and now my hands are purple. My like my thumb and my ring finger used to be rose gold and it just turned like this cool witchy purple shade which is totally fine. You know, it works. I was smart and got black nails cuz I got my nails done after I got my hair done and I was like, yeah, let's Let's be proactive here, Jan. Oh, I gotta take care of all of this laundry today because my mom's house is getting like inspected or whatever. Basically, I can't do laundry tomorrow. I can only do laundry today. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna be there all day. But first, I'm gonna eat some adobo. It's gonna be so fitting because I'm wearing the shirt that says, thank God I'm Filipino and it's cheesy as hell. But I'm gonna take a picture with Arsenic and Adobo, the book, as like a little promo because my live show for my book club is on Thursday and I have yet to finish it. So yeah, hopefully I can finish Sorrowland today. Okay, today for sure, but like within the next couple hours. So then I can move on to Arsenic and Adobo. I wanna finish it today for sure. And then start a dowry of blood before I go to sleep tonight. That's for a whole different vlog. I'm gonna go do the damn thing. <laughs> Don't 
sprints with Christina. I just hit page 300 in Sorrowland and I just read a really, really steamy part and I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my life right now. So I have like 55 pages left. I really just want to binge the rest of it and end this vlog. And then I'm going to keep editing because that's what I got to do. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Just wanted to document my reaction to the steamy scene. So it was a lot. <gasps> Hello. Kain uh, tayo. There's this part in Sorrowland that made me laugh. Oh no. And then it made me laugh again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it, but it has to do with with unlocking a phone <laughs> at the end of the book. <laughs> uh, Y'all need to read it just for that because it's funny. I'm almost done. I'm like 25 pages away from finishing. Woohoo! I'm tired. I know it's not even Queer Blackathon anymore, but we're making our own rules because it's my channel. <laughs> no, because Saturday I didn't start Queer Blackathon because I was not in town and I didn't have my camera. But yeah, okay. Alrighty, it is currently 8.22 p.m. I finally finished Sorrowland. Wow, did this have so much to unpack, so much to dissect. I don't even know where to start, but I think I'm gonna give it four stars. And the only reason it's not five is because I think I'm too dumb to give it a five because I couldn't keep track of all the characters or everything that was going on. There was a lot, like I said. I definitely understood and caught on to the social commentary about being black in America, about testing on black people without their permission, about how much America sucks, the government, the misogyny, the racism was touched upon. There were also some bits about religion. I all know how I feel about reading about religion, especially in fiction. Not a big fan of that. Again, like I said in my wrap up, no tea, no shade to religion. It's just not a thing I want to read about in fiction, you know? I'm usually not a fan of survivalist stories, which is what pretty much the whole first part of this book was about, but it was really well done. The writing is incredible. There are so many quotable lines in this. And like I said, there's endless social comments Commentary. Vern's two children are interesting to say the least. There were a lot of dark parts. Like I would be zoning out, right? Cause I was reading this all freaking day, but then it would just randomly take this dark ass twist. And I'm just like, did I read that right? My favorite character is Gogo, loved her. There were surprisingly a couple steamy scenes in this. I was not expecting that. I feel like there's so much to say. I'll definitely be reading more from River Solomon. I know they have a couple other books. Overall, I enjoyed my experience. I never would have read this without Jesse recommending it and making it the group book for Queer Blackathon. So thank you, Jesse. Oh, the cover is just stunning. I wish I were able to annotate in this, but it's a library book, so maybe I'll buy it physically because it is something I would like to read read eventually not anytime soon for sure but just so i could annotate and internalize everything more there were definitely a lot of strong characters in terms of like because of the author and in terms of like personality of the characters like there's a lot of strength in them and resilience and determination a lot of personality did i say that already i think so i think that is about it. I wish I were able to absorb everything that was touched upon in this book because there's so much that you could isolate. I don't know, but it did go a lot faster than I expected it to. I know I keep like doing this, but it literally like jogs my memory. The chapters were longer than I thought they were at first glance, but it still went pretty fast. I love the font in this book. I already talked about that, but love it i think that's all my mom and i are gonna go get starbucks at 8 30 because i'm tired and i want to stay up a little bit longer maybe like 1 or 2 a.m tonight but as for this vlog i think i'm gonna end it here so i could start my strangerthon vlog thank you so much for watching my queer black thon slash 24 hour readathon i don't even know what this is vlog let me know some of your most recent reads that you loved let me know if you've read sorrow land and what you thought about it i hope you all had a great day stay safe and stay positive always and i'll see you all in my next video bye